A magnetic field can be created by a permanent magnet or a moving charge. And actually, if we take a moving charge and place it in an existing magnetic field, it will experience the magnetic force that we'll define in a little bit. Now, the strength of a magnetic field is expressed in Tesla, and one Tesla is one Newton per ampere meter. And for a given region with a magnetic field, we usually draw magnetic field lines. And it's kind of like electric field lines, although they're a bit different. They just are there to represent or map the magnetic field that exists in a region. And at any point, they are tangent to the magnetic field. But as opposed to electric field lines, the magnetic field lines are closed. In other words, we would draw them for this magnet maybe like this. And we'd see that, in fact, they're closed. So they circle back to themselves. And they must always do that. Whereas if you remember an electric dipole, we had electric field lines that went from plus to minus, and some went from plus to infinity because they never came across a negative charge to be stopped. And so here we would have magnetic field lines for this permanent magnet, say. And we said that at any point, the magnetic field line is tangent to the magnetic field. And if we take a compass and we place it on a field line, it will point toward the south pole. So if I put my compass here, it will always be tangent to the field line, but it will always point toward the South Pole. And that actually makes sense. If you remember, the geographic North Pole is actually a magnetic South Pole. And that's why the needle of your compass points toward the geographic North Pole. So that's for a magnet. We'll see that moving charge, such as a current, also creates a magnetic field and that the magnetic field actually is going to wrap around this current. And it's going to have circular closed field lines. Now, the direction we'll define later on. We'll see that there's a way to figure out the direction of the current or the field lines if you know the other. And typically, we'll also denote the magnetic field by B. And finally, if you actually take your wire with the current and you coil the uh, wire and have the current flow through, you end up with magnetic field lines that look like this. So in a sense, you've sort of recreated a magnet. What's interesting, however, is that while the magnetic field inside the magnet is hard to get to, because you'd have to be inside the magnet, here you have a void with essentially the same type of magnetic field as you would find in a magnet. In other words, it's uniform, and all the field lines are parallel. And we'll get back to this. This is called a solenoid. And we'll talk about it, and we'll derive the magnetic field created by a solenoid. So two things to remember. Magnetic field lines, they're different than electric field lines. They're always tangent to the magnetic field, but they're closed. And the magnetic field itself can exert a force on a charge that moves in it, and that's the magnetic force that we'll define in a little bit.